Time now for the hot sauce. We are outside the Winging It studios today because this is the place to be. We are with a woman who travels the country, spreading the joy of reading to others. Jennifer France and Bess, the book bus. Jen, this is a great thing. Last year you were on the show and you mm -hmm. shared your joy of reading with others here in our region. And you're back again this year. We're glad to have you. Explain to folks who maybe don't know about Bess, the book bus, what, what is it? Absolutely. Thanks again for having us. We love being in Buffalo. So Bess, the book bus, we're a national mobile literacy outreach and we travel the whole country reading aloud to kids in underserved communities and giving away free books. Free books. free books. Yes. This year is actually our fifth year on the road. It's the fifth annual Successes in Sight Tour, which is sponsored by Transitions and VSP. And we're in Buffalo because we met a couple of people down at the Transitions Championship. We met Larry Bice down there and his friend Carl Palladino, and who bring us up here to Buffalo every year, which is wonderful. And Buffalo is sort of becoming kind of like our uh, second hometown now. Well, we're glad to have you. And I have to tell you, when I was a kid, I remember the bookmobile coming through and just yep. loving that and that mobile, that accessibility to reading. But not only do the kids get to uh, check out the books, they get to keep the books, which is huge. Absolutely. So what we're really trying to do in communities across America is build home libraries for children who otherwise would not have access to their own books. As we all know, books are really expensive these days. They're hard to come by in a lot of our communities. Some of the places we go, this is a kid's first book of their very own to keep. So we're really excited about that. We'll be in about 35 states this year. We're uh, on target to give away about 100,000 books, which will be a milestone for us for this year only. Over the last five years of doing the successes and site tours, we've given away over 380,000. So. Oh, I think that's incredible the work you do. Let's yeah. get a peek because oh, yeah, the, the vehicle right itself is beautiful. Thank you. We were actually very fortunate. Mercedes Benz donated this last year. So, and they had it built out and everything for us. So, you'll notice uh, we a friend, a couple of friends of mine, and I painted inside of it. It's just magnificent. Um, all the books that you see on board have been donated. We get a lot of books straight from publishers like Townsend Press and Capstone Publishing. A lot of books come from First Book. So, it's really a great thing that we're able to do leveraging the donations that we get. For instance, these books were donated straight uh, from Cal Ripken himself, so that's really cool. We're working some with him this year with Transitions. A lot of these come from First Book, so we only pay for the shipping, so this book ends up costing us about 45 cents to deliver into our community, so every dollar is about two brand new books for our I think that sounds great, and where can folks find Bess the Book Bus? So we're actually really excited. This year we're going to be in several places in Buffalo. We do have a community event that is open on Saturday. We will be at the Sitco, the Mandela Market Sitco, at 272 Ferry, and we'll be there from 11 to 2. You can bring your family. We're going to give away free books for, um, for anybody that shows up. So uh, we'll also be at the Fox School and the Bell Center this week. We'll be at, we're going to West Buffalo Charter School for the second year. And then we're going to be at Head Start this week. So really excited about that. Oh, Jen, you do great work, and we appreciate your help in the community. I do have to ask you real quick, though. Sure. Bess, the book bus, you're not Bess. Who's Bess? <laughs> Bess is my Nana, who has been gone for a while now. But when I was a little, little girl, she would be one to take me to the library or take me to the bookstore and pick out new books and read them aloud to me. And when I decided, the bus is inspired by her. She's my Nana Bess, but I had a cousin who couldn't say Nana Bess, so he'd call her Nana Bus. Oh. So when I started the bus, it just popped into my head to name it after my Nana Bess. Oh, that's a great story. And you are now that inspiration to so many children. So we thank you for your work. We look forward to you around Buffalo this weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you, and thank you, Buffalo, for the support. All right, we're going to send things now over to Anthony Kanji in the kitchen.